Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Deep Pets Reactions and my name is Greg. And I'm going to keep the kind of a Beatles theme here, you know. And since I can't seem to play the Beatles, you know, which really sucks, you know. I, it, it pisses me off so much that I can't play the Beatles and I can't play Jimi Hendrix. I mean, they were so influential on music, on my life, you know, history, the whole nine yards. You know, they were important. They were part of our history. And uh, so I don't see why I can't play it. You know, this this uh, little channel is, you know, partly for historical purposes anyway. You know, I mean, these songs need to be preserved. You know, people need to hear them. They're important songs, you know. So anyway, this one is uh, George Harrison. And this is off of his first album after the Beatles, All Things Must Pass. And uh, this is the initial track, uh, or I guess the I think it may be the last track on the album. It's the last track he wrote, in any case. And it's called uh, Beware of Darkness. And they also did it on the uh, uh, the concert for Bangladesh album that they put out. You know, it was a film and then an album. And uh, he and Leon Russell do a nice version on it. But there's some deal with copyrights on that album, too. You just can't hardly get it. Uh, the, the tracks that I've seen, you know, they... They have a film, part of the film, and then they have to pause it just with a photograph. And then I found another one that's, uh, you know, with subtitles in Spanish. So I didn't want to play either one of those. But anyway, uh, here we go. Beware of Darkness by George Harrison, and I don't own copyrights. <laughs> stop it there. There's really no good places. Watch out.
wasn't ready for that to stop. <laughs> he's got a, uh, the background musicians on this, I mean, he's got a lot of really good people. Of course, there's uh, Ringo, you know, who's playing drums. And then there's Eric Clapton and Dave Mason both on it. And uh, I can't remember who else. Oh, Gary Bright plays organ. So that's cool. But anyway, I, I thought you might enjoy that. You know, it's uh, it was his first album, you know, after the Beatles breakup. It was kind of in 1970. And, uh, you know, he was he was in a strange place. You know, uh, the Beatles had just broken up. You know, that was a big deal emotionally. So, uh, you know, this is a lot of the songs on here are stuff that he had written before that he basically could not record with the Beatles. You know, I mean, they wouldn't let him, you know. He was... Uh, his songwriting was really uh, devalued, you know, in the Beatles, which is too bad. You know, he's a great songwriter. But anyway, uh, another one of those that we've lost, you know, I mean, he uh, he was stabbed, you know, by an assassin. And it didn't kill him immediately, but it caused horrible health problems and he ended up dying from it, you know, eventually. But uh, another, one's I, another one I sure wish was still around. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's uh, something you won't hear very often. And, uh, and I'll be back in a minute. We'll play something else. Uh, hit like, subscribe, and we'll see you.